Hello everybody, my name is Meryl Muckleworth and our group topic is PTSD. PTSD stands for post-traumatic stress disorder. PTSD is a ment mental disorder that can occur at any age when a person goes through a traumatic event. PTSD is so dear to my heart because my father-in-law was diagnosed with PTSD. Some of the causes of PTSD is car accidents, sexual abuse, war trauma, and experiencing an event involving a death of a spouse, a friend, or a person. Types of PTSD. There is acute PTSD, which is symptoms lasting more than three months. Chronical PTSD is symptoms lasting at least three months. And then we got delayed onset PTSD, which is symptoms rising more than six months following the event. Symptoms of PTSD is reoccurring symptoms, is problems that may cause problems in everyday routine. Avoiding symptoms is things that reminds a person of the traumatic event that triggers these symptoms. Hyperarousal symptoms is, is symptoms that are triggered by things that reminds the person of the traumatic event. Reoccurring symptoms example is my father has PTSD and every time he hears plane engine going off that triggers his PTSD. He goes back to where the war began because the the because the the uh, airplane noise triggers his PTSD. Avoiding symptoms example is if somebody was in a car accident and they don't want to go back to the spot that they had the car accident because that will make them trigger their PTSD where the event happened. And then we got hyper arousal symptoms example is when your everyday life, your stress, you're not thinking properly, you have prom family problems and it's like work is going this way and then you have kids, everything is stressing you out. We're, we're experiencing symptoms are flashbacks, bad dreams, frightened thoughts, you think about the event every day. Um, avoiding symptoms is you staying away from that place or event that that event happened. Feeling emotional or numb. Feeling strong and guilty. Losing interest in activities that you, you used to enjoy in the past, but now because you have PTSD, you can't enjoy it anymore and having problems remembering the event. Hyper arousal symptoms is, is being easily startled, feeling tense or on edge all the time. You have anxiety, you're having difficult sleeping, and you're very angry all the time. Diagnosis of PTSD. Um, according to the National Institute of Mental Health, to be diagnosed with PTSD, a person must have at least one, three experiencing system, symptoms, at least three avoiding symptoms, um, at least two hyperarousal symptoms, and that the occurring symptoms make daily life harder to complete important tasks. Um, Risk factors for P PTSD, um, you have a history of mental illness, seeing people hurt or killed, having little or no social, social support after the event, 
and dealing with the extra stress after it. Um, as you can see on the graph, suburban police, firefighters, military veterans, rape adults, battered women, and abused children all suffer from, all can become, uh, <laughs> can have PTSD, and the highest factor is abused children at 50%. Um, the prevention factors for uh, PTSD is seeking out support from other people, finding a support group, um, feeling good about one's actions in the face of danger, exercising or seeing a therapist. Um, the current treatments are cognitive therapy, um, exposure therapy, eye movement, um, medication, and family therapy. Cognitive therapy, uh, therapist helps the patient to understand change, how they think about the traumatic event in the aftermath. Exposure therapy, the patient and the therapist, they consistently talk about the tra trauma experience. Um, eye movement is um, while the patient thinks to talk about the memories, they might do a hand tap or sounds or just eye movement. Uh, medication, you have antidepressants that you can use for, um, to ease the symptoms. Um, last is family therapy, which is a counseling method that involves the patient, loved ones, and the goal of the treatment is to help the family communicate and cope. My name is Michael Hendricks, and I'm here to present facts about PTSD. Uh, a veteran dies from suicide every 80 minutes. Vets make up 7% of the population and account for 20% of its suicides. PTSD is far more common than wounds on the battlefield and a lot larger problem uh, our government is facing actually fighting the uh, disorder. Traumatic experience I can call, expect uh, in the military are seeing dead bodies on the battlefield and stuff like that. Sexual harassment even by fellow you know, military personnel. Uh, being shot at. Uh, loneliness, killing people, being ambushed, worrying about your family back home that you're trying to defend, and getting hit by mortar fire, and we'll get back to that uh, a little bit later with the shell shock in World War I. Uh, without treatment, PTSD can lead to alcohol and drug abuse, reliving terror, heart attacks, depression, dementia, suicide, and strokes. Shell shock uh, was a big thing in World War I when um, basically mortar fire would fall into uh, the trenches uh, that the Allies and Axis dug in World War I. Um, it's, you know, we, we see it in World War I, but the term was actually created by uh, Charles Myers in 1915 to describe the experience who's uh, experienced jarring stress on the battlefield. Um, shell shock sy symptoms include shivering, crying, fearfulness, and weird behaviors in persons with the condition. Some doctors believe the physiological condition was caused by concussions caused by the impact of shells and their shock waves that actually went through the trenches. The term shell shock is no longer in use today by doctors, uh, but uh, during the First World War, we don't classify them having PTSD. Uh, mainly be because uh, we don't know if it's caused by the concussions that are actually generated by the shock waves or not. But a lot of the symptoms are very common um, and they share a lot of the same symptoms. All right, go ahead. All right, more neurosis or shell shock. Uh, this is a video about uh, the actual shell shock victims and how they're treated uh, afterwards. I would like to show the class because uh, this does display a lot of uh, graphic content and. Uh, similar stuff to PTSD that people can find.
Huh? All right, go ahead. Um, as you can see from the video, uh, a lot of the symptoms are very severe and the treatments are uh, a little off from what you see today. Uh, a lot of doctors today do think shell shock and PTSD are different, but they're also really, they think a lot of shell shock victims did suffer from a, a, at least a mild form of PTSD. And uh, we can see that by a lot of similar symptoms that arise in both uh, shell shock and PTSD victims. Good. Uh, this is our references page and JPA format, including the YouTube video that we just showed you.